we got the rail bridge there where we were just over there this is an old mill with foundations ducks in the water and this is the back end of it this is, it is called the old mill got an inventive name AJ and HM McIntyre says on there Let's see what that Clark says Built in 1848-49 That's an old flour mill It's a private residence, nice This has been saved Lovely light fittings oh, I love them I don't think my wife would let me put those old fittings on our house Spectacular, isn't it? Love it. Right, let's go and have a look at this railway bridge. See how close we can actually get. As you can see, there's two of them. Not sure how much of this is actually showing up. Used to be a path through here, but no more. No trespassing. I won't. So, look at that. Right, let's see if we can get under them. There we go. It might have been road. What yeah, well, was that? The older bridge. We'll go back up top and have a look at them in a minute. Wow. That thing is just hanging. Isn't it? So that you can see it's all the way across. We'll be able to go under them later and get some more footage. That one's just cracking, look at it. Alright, we'll just go up here, have a quick look, and we'll head back to the car. Right. Alright, that is a road. That is the Prince Albert Viaduct, sorry, Prince Alfred Viaduct opened in 1867 and it was a road. And here, we'll come and see through here, along here, and to here, the old railway. Amazing. So, yeah, you can't get in here near, they fenced it off. It is in. But I ain't gonna hang around much longer, I'm afraid. But there was a viewing platform out here which would have been fantastic back in the day. Anyway, right. Let's just quickly go here. Let's see what they got here. You should be able to read that. Alright. We're off. Go for a walk past it down this road here. And we'll uh get some more footage down below. Oh, we were just there. We've been down there. And now we're here. Yep. You know, it's about 150 years old. Anyway. 
some more photos and then we'll uh, go underneath and have a look. Alright, now we're actually standing under them. We were over there before. Gotta try and get this footage without getting any sun involved. How long is it? So they've got quite an interesting bridge down the end there, metal bridge which is on the edge of the caravan park where I'm staying, so we ought to have a look at it. So there we have it. So that is the rail bridge, and what we'll do next is we'll walk over to the roadway and have a look as well. It's just in the distance there. Never knew these existed until I came down here the other week to pick up my son. We don't live in Gunner Guy, my parents brought him up. Just seemed like a nice easy tr travel for me and for my parents halfway each. It was good. Alright, we'll go to the other one. Alright, we're just walking over to this now. This is the roll roadway. That's the railway. This is the roadway. Now I'm gonna walk for a big hole to get to it. I've been able to take photos through the wood the, right across using this stick. It's about almost two meters long when you stretch it. It's fantastic. Great idea. Never thought of that before. A lot of things I don't think about. Anyway, we get a couple of shots of this one. This is in bad nick too. A few uh, of the big timbers are cracking. Be able to get you up close using this stick. Really? All right. You can see that. Quite struggle straight with that. Nice. No trespassing. I wasn't intending on it. Oh yeah, they've got to put all that wire up there in an attempt to... That's a good idea, I guess. Let's go around and see what we can see. And we won't know until I actually check out this footage. Right. Bolt. How exciting. Right. Oh, we split there. Look at that. Wow. That's incredible. It's lasted this long. Alright. Some photos. Okay, here we are at South Gundagai Station. Basically, this is all that's left. <laughs> 